When I was a kid, there were two video game franchises I played the most. Guitar Hero... Oh, he broke it. He did it. He broke the record. ...and Sly Cooper. But it's been over a decade since I last played one of the games from the original trilogy. So I bought the remastered Sly Trilogy, which I'm going to play on that PS3. So with three games and over 100 trophies to get, it was time to relive my childhood. There we go. First trophy. I think that one's just for starting up the game. A lot of the trophies I'll be getting through the games are story related. Sly Cooper 1 though does have a lot of very simple collectible trophies. Something. Coin collector. Pretty sure that was for collecting my first coin. And let me do a super quick story breakdown. Sly is a thieving raccoon who came from an orphanage, which is where he met his best friends, Bentley. To land us safely upon diminutive points, leapeth lively and presses the triggering device with the round geometrical object emblazoned upon it. And Murray. Well, I drove to this hot dog stand for a quick snack, and the next thing you know, I'm getting challenged to a race by these gangster dogs. And there's this very important book known as the Thievius Raccoonus, which is handed down through generations of the Cooper family and contains the events and skills learned throughout the long line of thieves. One night though, when Sly was very young, his parents were killed and the book was stolen and divided into five pieces with each piece going to a member of the Fiendish Five. So 10 years later, and with his two best friends, it was time to track down each member and get back what is his. And there is also Inspector Carmelita Fox, who is always trying to capture Sly, but never quite can. You can't escape me, raccoon! Our first member of the Fiendish Five we needed to take down was Sir Raleigh the Frog. For an entire Fortnite! Fortnite? The frog said Fortnite! The, the frog from Sly 2002 predicted Fortnite! How Sly 1 works is each episode has 7 levels, and each level has one key and one vault. So I just need to open this vault and I should get a new move as well as a trophy. And if I'm going to get the platinum, I'm going to have to get every single vault in the game. There we go, take it slow. And with all keys collected, you can then head to the boss fight. Gloat all you want. There we go. So there's our trophy for our first villain defeated. And we're going to Utah. Let's go. With the first villain of the Fiendish Five defeated, I carried on through the episodes, defeating Mugshot, giving the dog a bone. There's Mugshot defeated. Miss Ruby. There we go. That's a trophy for defeating Miss Ruby. So now two more villains. Oh, there we go. And another trophy. So it's two more villains, and then should be done with the first game. And my favorite, Panda King. Here we go. So now it's just the final boss. The last episode in Sly 1 works a bit differently. Instead of needing to find keys, it was more linear, completing level after level until reaching the final boss. So it's this clockwork. Pretty much Carmelita shoots her shock pistol, creating a weak spot, which then I shoot and damages him. And then this is just a second phase. It's pretty much the same thing except there's these purple rings which sometimes can be annoying to know exactly where they're going to go. There we go, he's down. Okay, so now I just need to parkour over to his head and he should be defeated. There we go, that should be it. There we go, there's that trophy. I think there's another trophy, I think you get two. There we go. So now I just need to go back and clean up some vaults I missed. And I should get the platinum. Pop quiz! When you beat Sly Cooper 1, what do you get as a reward? A. A secret costume. B. A new move. C. Nothing. Or D. The intro cutscene, but this time it's in Japanese. I wish games today still had cool secrets like this for when you beat the game. Anyways, I still had a few trophies to clean up to get the platinum. Okay, this should be the last vault I need. And then that's the platinum. Okay. Any second trophy should pop. 
right now. Oh, yeah. Amazing. There we go. Time and there we go. So that's the first platinum. We just need two more. Sly 2 Band of Thieves is arguably the best game out of the trilogy. The difference between Sly 1 and 2 is honestly night and day. Sly now has a sprint button and feels way better to control. You can now play as both Bentley and Murray and the episode layout is way different but I'll get to that in a bit. Here I have my original copy which I must have gotten at least like 12 years ago. You see I got it free owned from a GameStop. I also have this little guy. A very rough explanation for what's going on in this game is that when we defeated Clockwork, his parts were displayed in the museum, but then we find out that a group known as the Claw Gang actually stole the parts to use for their own good. So the goal is to take back the parts to prevent whatever evil the Claw Gang has planned. And what better way to start than with the best episode and the best villain in the whole Sly franchise. There we go, there's finally a trophy. I think that one's for getting some clue bottles. Our first villain is Dimitri, who is this like swag lizard? And he has the clockwork tail feathers, used to print unlimited money. This guy's got the setup going. I mean, look at the way he walks, he knows he's got it. Like I was saying before, Sly 2 plays out a bit differently. There's still a hub world, but instead of it just being used to go into separate levels to collect a key, all the levels actually take place inside the hub world to get ready for the final heist. There we go. The mission should be right here. I just need to do some setup with Bentley and Murray, and then I should be able to get back the feathers. God, so raccoons do this. Like totally bumming my house up and bringing me down. So very uncool. Your suit sucks. No! <laughs> There we go, that's the trophy for defeating Dimitri. And our first clockwork part. Our next villain is Rajan, who has both the clockwork wings and the heart. So Sly just has to use his Riz to distract <laughs> Carmelita and everyone else in this palace ah. so that Murray, hold on, wait, there he is. You can see Murray back there and he's gonna come down, steal the wings, and then go back up. There's the trophy and Murray got the wings. And now I just have to defeat Rajan as Murray, and I should get the heart. Nice, that's the trophy. And we got the heart. I continue through, defeating the Contessa for Clockwork's eyes. Whoa! Bro, what's happening? That's so cool. That's awesome. That's the trophy. And the eyes. I also hijack some trains in Canada for the lungs and stomach of Clockwork. <laughs> they for real got me feeling like Arthur Morgan, bro. Shouldn't take long. What? Bro, did it just really glitch out? What the? <laughs> oh, there. Oh, we're, we're back, I guess. There we go, that's the stomach. And the trophy for the episode, nice. One of the last parts we needed were the Clockwork Talons, carried by John Basson, and we almost had them until John 1v3'd us. And then he stole all of our Clockwork parts, leaving us in a last ditch effort to sneak on the blimp of Arpeggio, the mastermind behind the Claw Gang, who is planning to rebuild Clockwork to become immortal. Nah, this is who we're scared of, bro. This is the leader. <laughs> and in a quick turn in events, Neela, another member of the Claw Gang, and also a snake, steals clockwork and turns into Clockla. You stupid owl. Ooh. Is, that, is that how owls sound? There's a trophy. TikTok. If this, if this video gets 100 likes, I'll post a TikTok dance. We defeated Clockla and destroyed the hate chip, meaning Clockwork was gone for good, but in the process, Bentley got badly hurt. At least we got to spend some time with Carmelita and roll the credits. Okay, I wonder if we'll get a trophy here. That's it. You've seen everything. You won. Go, nice. I mean, thanks for the advice, but I still gotta play Sly 3. But before that, I still had one last trophy to get. Okay, so when I buy this, Silent Obliteration, 
Should be the trophy. Then we'll get the platinum any second. Hello? There we go. And then it should be a platinum right here. There we go. Two games down, just one more to go. Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves was my first and favorite Sly game when I was a kid. I first played it at a friend's house and instantly fell in love with the art style, the satisfying feel, the characters, the world, everything was just perfect. And although I do think Sly 2 is a better game, Sly 3 will always have the most nostalgia for me. After the last game, Sly was tipped off about a secret vault hidden on an island, containing treasures from generations of the Cooper line. But the island was now heavily guarded, with Dr. M being the one in charge and using everything he has to try and open the vault. And if we wanted to get the vault open, we would need more than just the regular crew. But before we can get anyone else, we needed to get Murray back. And Murray is in Venice, Italy, on a spiritual journey after he blamed himself for Bentley's injury. But before we could even find Murray, we found someone else. Oh my god, I know who this is. Let's go, Dimitri Swag Lizard. Dude, I missed you. Come on, let's get you out of here. Intimate moments, I'll take that. Also, I did forget to mention Octavio, this opera singing lion who is mad he fell off because rock music took over. So now, he's trying to destroy Venice with his black goo. Murray, there he is. Come on, help us defeat this lion. Here we go, trophy for defeating Octavio. Now with Murray back, we decided to go to Australia to see if Murray's guru wanted to join the game. There he is, look at him, he's just a little, just a little purple guy. During this episode is one of the game's best missions, where you have to chug this lemonade faster than these wolf dog guys, and then it goes into this all out bar fight, all in an effort to try and get and destroy this mysterious evil mask. Oh, well, there it goes. Finally, that guy That's just, just gonna let it go. <laughs> it's getting away? Here's a trophy at least. The mask then made its way onto Carmelita, turning her into a giant. Yeah, I don't know either. This game is just weird. But we got the mask off and got another trophy. It's Halloween. Bentley was now looking for an RC specialist to join the gang, and he found one in a chat room. Her name was Penelope, and if we wanted her to join, we needed to defeat her boss, the Black Baron. So this is pretty simple. I just need to chase that plane that's right in front of me with the flashing lights. Just keep shooting it and then think we're just done. Uh, you know what? I definitely remember this. So yeah, Penelope was the Black Baron. And it's also pretty obvious she was catfishing a bit too. Embarrassing! <laughs> but nevertheless, she joined the team. We got a trophy and now we had to look a bit into the past for our next member. And my favorite, Panda King. Here we go. So now it's just the final boss. We need someone good with explosives. So who else better than the Panda King? Problem is, he won't join us unless we save his daughter, who was abducted to be forcefully married to General Sao. I mean, just look at him. You can tell he has no Riz, no Lambos, and no Platinums. And when we got close to finally confronting him, he summoned a dragon to try and stop us. Okay, this is a really cool boss fight though. The dragon was pretty weak though, giving us another trophy while Carmelita caught up the General Sao, meaning we got Panda King's daughter back and him on the team. But the gang wanted to take a bit of a break and decided to become pirates for a little bit. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're flying now, I guess. We did get to play as Dimitri, although with some pretty clunky controls, but he did finally decide to join the gang, meaning it was time to crack open that vault. So with everyone doing their job one by one, we were able to get in pretty easily. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> the little, the lasers making the logo. 
At the end of the vault was Dr. M, and we kind of failed to defeat him, get it saved by Carmelita. Yes, queen, slay! Then, pretended to lose all memory so we could have a fresh slate. That sneaky devil. There we go, and there's that trophy. So now I just need to do some cleanup, and I'm done. Sly 3 is the only game to have additional challenges for when you beat the game, and I had one last one for defeating the final boss with a time limit. Okay, he's dead. That should be it. Here we go, 100%. Should be trophy any second. There we go. And the platinum, there we go. So all three Sly games, 100% platinumed. So yeah, that's that. I also thought I should mention, I do know Sly 4 exists, but I actually platinumed it last year because I still own my original copy from when it released. So while filming for this video, we got a new family member. So we appropriately named him Sly. Hello. But I'm gonna give all three games a 10 out of 10, and you should definitely platinum them. They're short, fun, easy, they're just perfect, especially if you are just starting trophy hunting. But that's all for me. If you did enjoy, feel free to like and subscribe, and let me know what you thought about the video in the comments. Until next time, see ya.